Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out the brand new mascara that Benefit have released. This is the, the Their Real Magnet Mascara. I'm super curious about this formula, I'm not going to lie. So if you guys have been following me for a while, then you're going to know that my all-time favourite mascara is the Benefit Roller Lash. I absolutely love, love, love this mascara. And I usually like to layer it with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara as well. So yeah, I mean it takes a lot for me to want to try a new mascara. Um, the fact that I'm already familiar, of course, with the Benefit formula, I mean I sort of feel like I might have a good time with it. I am super, super curious. So this basically claims that it's a mascara with magnetic force that draws the lashes out to the extreme lengths. The extender brush with magically charged core pulls the magnetic mineral en enriched formula up and out beyond the tips of the lashes. It's flexible, lightweight and it builds easily. So yeah, I mean... Look, why not? Let's just give it a go. Again, please excuse my nails. They are going through it at the moment. Um, but yes, I will be getting them done again in about a month. So they're just going through like some intense therapy at the moment. Bear with me on that. Um, but yes. Anyway, so this also claims that it's going to give you 40% longer lashes and 40% um, plus longs. Okay interesting packaging terminology um but yeah so i mean the fact that it reckons that it's going to draw i guess the product up and out to really give you that really full look i'm very curious now i did get it in this shade supercharged black of course uh and this is what the component looks like very similar to the their real mascara now i've actually i haven't tried the bad girl bang mascara but i have tried the their real um mascara and i didn't really actually like it all that much love roller lash but i didn't really like the other the other ones so yeah very interested to see how this is going to go i'm just gonna open it up and show you guys so this is what the wand looks like. I really like this wand, I can tell you straight away. That is definitely the style of wand that I like to use. Um, it's very, very similar to the Roller Lash wand. So already I feel like I'm probably going to have a good time with this. So let's just go ahead and uh, I'll do one side and then we'll, we'll see uh, a comparison. Here we go. So when I put mascara on, I like to really take it through the lash and just sort of wobble the wand through my lashes. I just feel I get the best saturation doing it that way and then I'll blink onto it as well. Okay so that is the first layer down. I am now just going to quickly uh, do my bottom lash, lash line. Okay, so first layer is officially done. I actually really like how that's looking, to be honest. I think it looks really lovely. I don't think that it looks clumpy, it doesn't feel clumpy, um, but I definitely want to go in with a second coat, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Just warm this product up a bit, here we go. Alright, second coat, let's see if it clumps or not. I mean... I think it's looking pretty nice, to be honest. I think I really like this product, oh my goodness. And you know what, I don't usually go in for a second coat, that's not something I, I typically do. But obviously, just as a comparison, you can see a big difference with having mascara on versus not having mascara on. But I am like really quite surprised at just how much I like this. I wasn't anticipating to enjoy it as much as what I, I honestly am, mainly because, as I said, Benefit Roller Lash is like my all time favorite product. So this is really interesting. 
Okay guys, the verdict is in. I love this mascara. I absolutely love it. I think it looks fantastic. I don't like this bit. That's annoying to hold, to be honest. I wish it was just solidly round like the, the roller lash is. Uh, but aside from that, I have nothing negative to say about this product at all. I'm really surprised, like I can't believe how surprised I am about this, to be honest. And see, like normally if I was to put on, as I said, I usually lay out these two products and sometimes that can mean, you know, I get a little bit of fallout and I have to clean it up with a Q-tip. I don't have any fallout whatsoever. Uh, I just think this looks beautiful. I, I love how this looks. This actually might be the mascara I use on my wedding day, to be honest. I'm testing out a whole bunch of new products uh, because I have decided I'm going to do my own makeup on the day. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm of course going to incorporate some, some favourites that I know work really, really well. But I'm also open to trying new things uh, because, you know, I obviously want to look good on the day and, and not have to worry about, you know, how my makeup is sitting. I mean... This, this looks really good. I'm so pleased. Guys, I would highly, highly recommend picking this up. I don't know, I can't remember how much it was. I think off the top of my head, it's probably at about the $40 mark. You can pick it up from Sephora. And if you are a Sephora member and you have enough points, you can get 10% off your purchase if you have 500 points or more. So it's something to keep in mind. And generally you can pick it up from any Maya over here in Australia as well. And they always seem to have sales on, uh, on benefit for some reason. It regularly seems to go up to about 20% off. So I would highly, highly recommend giving this a go for yourself. Uh, because yeah I am so impressed I also just read here that it says it won't smudge or flake definitely I have not it hasn't flaked at all and as I said unlike some other mascaras that I use that I typically can get flaking I definitely do get it with the roller lash at times uh, it's not hard to fix but you know it's also not the best when it happens um, and as you guys saw I put two coats on so really really impressed I love this ah oh, so good okay guys so that is basically it for this video leave me some comments down below let me know what you thought about how this mascara performed have you picked it up are you gonna try it for yourself and uh, as always I will see you all in the next one Mwah. bye guys